This video looks at the process of panelization within Proteus. It is common practice to panelize both multiple copies of the same board and or different printed circuit boards. To start the process, select the Generate Gerber slash Exelon files option from the output menu in Ares. If you haven't done so already, you'll be prompted to do a pre-production check for any errors. It is strongly recommended that you do these checks. Note that when preparing to panelize the board, you must use the Gerber X2 output option. After generating the Gerber files is completed, you are given the option to open the Gerber viewer. Select OK to see the files in the Gerber viewer tab. You cannot panelize the board whilst the project is open. A Proteus project is a representation of a single board, schematic, layout, etc., and a panel is clearly a representation of more than one board. Make sure you close the current project before you enter the Gerber viewer in order to panelize the board. Once in the Gerber editor, the first thing to do is to set the board area to the dimensions of the PCB panel. This will make sure that the auto placement will start a new row at the right time. If the panels with your manufacturer are always of the same size, you can then save it as a default size for future Gerber editor sessions. We'll now import the files we're going to be using. It is important that we select the panelization mode at the bottom of this screen. You can specify an offset from the perimeter and also an offset from other boards in the panel. If you want multiple panels of the same board, you can also specify the number of copies here. As boards are placed, the false origin is moved to the position of the next board being placed. This allows you to manually override the position of the next incoming board by first moving the false origin to the required coordinates and then bringing in the PCB. At the end of the process, you'll need to create a board edge representing the panel itself. You can do this by placing a 2D graphic on the board edge layer over the board of the work area. It should be noted that you can add text and graphics to your panel as required in order to give your board an ID and manufacturing information. Once completed, you need to generate a final Gerber file for the manufacturer. You do this in the same way as earlier and name the work as suits your own requirements. If you are panelizing large boards or boards that have multiple power planes, the resulting files can be quite large. However, because the files are ASCII in nature, you can use one of many zip programs in order to reduce the file size before sending to the fabrication house. <laughs> 